If you've forgotten your Android password and you want to get in that phone, in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it. And this, actually, you need to have your computer running color Linux, you have to have your Android phone. I'm really sorry guys, this can also be done in iOS or in other name, the iPhone uses also, this is for you, make sure you stay tuned till the end. And also, you have to have... A USB cable you done if you only got that let's go into the video if you don't have post the video go grab them then come back and watch the video and one thing to do guys make sure you watch every single second don't skip any single part because if you skip anything you are done it's never gonna work because every single second there is a lot of things to do so don't skip and if you stay tuned or stick until the end of the video there is a bonus tip for you so make sure you stay till the end if you find this video helpful at the end make sure you like smash the subscribe button put the notification bells on in order you get every notification whenever I post a single video make sure you go and check my previous videos on hacking and everything using color Linux then come back in this video let's get it <laughs> guys right now if you're on your computer make sure it is connected to the internet and one thing that I want you guys to do make sure you open your web browser in your internet in your computer I'm using Firefox you can use Chrome or whatever you're gonna use according to your preferences you can just use the same web browser now if the web browser is open as you can see right over here we're going to download the git clone the tool that we're gonna use now I want you to write C logs okay C logs then github then you press enter right over here as you can see this one the first link table whatever one three three seven to crack everything now I want you to do one thing make sure this one is the same you can just copy this one and then paste it in your terminal or you can just do it go here to code left click on it press copy and after it is copied this tick will appear now i want you to close the web browser you're done with the web browser open your terminal if you don't you guys don't know what the terminal is it's that let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see now i want you to type git clone okay then you're gonna paste the link that you done that you copied in the in the website when you press enter right over here it will download clogs.git and after that, I've already downloaded it, so I don't have to download it twice. Make sure you download that. And after you have downloaded that, if you write ls to list everything that is present in your directory, you might find clogs right over here. Now, I want you to change the directory cd to clogs, okay? Now, after you've changed directory to clogs, you are in clogs. I want you to write one simple thing and one quickly. Make sure you write sudo. This one is for super user, super user. Then bash C logs. Okay, when you press enter right over here, let me make this a little bit bigger. When you press enter right over here, you're gonna write your pseudo password. Okay, now it is starting C logs. You have to wait. Right now, I need you to put your Android phone ready. Okay, it's because we are going to do a lot of things in this phone. But this video, I won't cover every single thing present in Silox, okay? As you can see here, it's my IP address and everything, Kyle Linux, okay? Now, here's everything you can do. You can, you can update Silox, you can brute force a 4-digit pin, you can brute force a 6-digit pin, you can brute force lock screen using word list, like you have a set of word lists that you think this phone will have used the word list to make the password. Oh. The good thing, you can bypass the lock screen, the anti-guide, not supported in all operating system versions, but gladly it, it will work in your operating system. You can go to the root, jump to, you have to do a lot of things, but before this one, I want you to do one simple thing. Open the terminal once again, I want you to download one simple thing, it's called the ADB that will help you connect your computer with your Android phone using USB cable. Now, I want you to do sudo apt install adb okay i've already installed adb now if you haven't installed adb make sure you install adb in your operating system right now then you come back right over here now i want you to do one simple thing this is your phone okay make sure you plug it in right over here okay after you plug it in i want you to do one simple thing let me take this camera and show you 
okay the phone the phone is plugged right over here okay and here it is plugged in the operating system or the computer now i want you to put the phone aside i'm gonna put the phone aside okay right now really quickly i'm putting the phone aside and as you can see here in my computer i'm going to write four digit brute force and if i write number two right over here then i press enter okay let me switch on my phone so that you can see Now, if I press enter, you'll see something suspicious will happen in the phone, okay? Here's the phone. I haven't touched the phone yet, okay? It is starting demon and everything. Here's the phone. You can see, it is writing the password on its own. Wrong pin, the first one, okay? It's brute forcing. The second one, as you can see right over here, it's showing what, what pin is trying. The third one, okay? It's writing, it's continuing to writing. It's brute forcing the phone. Wrong pin, okay, it will continue to brute force until it it gets the right okay. We are done. Everything is done. Delay it, it's done. We have already unlocked the phone. Now that's the first part in this video. You can do a lot of things. You can get a web camera, okay. Okay, guys, right now as you can see in your color Linux, if you want to test another thing, you can just if you want, first of all, if you want to end that session, you just press Control C and it will end the session. It will end and it will stop trying. Now I want you to repeat the same thing right here once again. The same command sudo bash clogs and when you press Enter, you can see it's opening clogs and everything. All right, right now in Silox you can do a lot of things, guys. You can do anything that you want. You can jump to ADB Toolkit. You can reset data in that phone. You can remove the lock screen. You can jump into Metasploit and try different things. You can get a web camera through the internet, and you can do a lot of other more stuff, guys. Now I want you to play around and just try anything that you want with your phone okay you can jump into root as i said you can get the phone info for example when i type phone info number 12 it will tell me the phone info it is a techno mobile whatever limited techno kg whatever okay the model is that one the version is 11 the sdk is 30 so you can do anything that you want okay now i want you to go ahead and test these silox or for yourself and you will come tell me what have you seen in silox and what have you accomplished what your phone can be done using silox and everything that you need okay put it okay now i want you to just try it okay and have some fun enjoy silox i'll catch you in the next one but one thing i told you at the end there is a bonus tip for you guys okay and the bonus tip actually is this only works on your phone because before doing all these things you have to go on your phone and connect this USB cable all right and after you connect this USB cable you have to grant the permission I'm telling you the truth I'm not like you're gonna hack any phone you find okay this is for educational purposes only educational purposes only now if this is for educational purposes only you can only do this using your phone you have to grant permission through the settings in your USB debugging in your phone settings, then you allow ADB mode and you'll be able to control your phone using your computer. Now you can do this right now for the better of the future because maybe one day you forgot your password and you'll need to bypass the lock screen. Now you can do that by ADB. Okay, now that's the bonus tip for you. It's not like you're gonna do this in anybody's phone or else maybe if the phone you're trying, it is already supported the, the, the ADB features already supported in that phone and there you can do anything with that phone also okay using your computer now thanks for watching this video guys I just showed you how you can really use Silox and yeah it is on both Android and iOS I forgot to tell you this but I forgot to tell you this is for Android and iOS as you can see in the screen right now Android and iOS you can do this thing so iOS users make sure you Stay tuned till the end, alright? Now, with that being said, so catch you in the next one. Peace out.